This video is to show you how to launch ODI in the cloud in less than 60 minutes. Oracle has launched data integration platform in the cloud. Data integration platform is a comprehensive cloud-based platform solution for all your data integration needs. I'm not going to read all the description here, but data integration platform is nothing but ODI in the cloud. When you launch data integration platform, you need to have two instances one db instance and one odi instance let's go to cloud.oracle.com click on sign in give your account name in my case it is bi training click next sign in with your credentials now we are on the dashboard and at the bottom of the dashboard you will see all the available services right now i don't see any available services at the bottom because i don't have any services right now so services with instances are automatically shown here even if you don't have a service and if you want that to show here you can click on customize dashboard and select whichever service you want it to show here for example if i click on compute compute will show here when it is automatic and if you have an instance with that service it will automatically show in the dashboard i'll close this one so let's click on this icon navigation menu click on services and click on data integration platform classic this will take me to the create instance screen if i have any available instances i can see those instances here since i don't have any instances let's click on create instance when i clicked on the create instances a pre-provisioning check window appeared so this says that i don't have any associated database for data integration service as we discussed earlier we need a database service that is for ODI metadata as well as you, if you want to use it as a warehouse database. Since I don't have a database instance right now, instead of creating a database instance, what we can do is we can click on quick starts. It will create a cloud stack. So you, you get both database and data integration platform. Click on create. Here is a confirmation. It says your request will be submitted to create a data integration platform classic instance. And here is the instance name as a part of the Oracle cloud stack. And here is the stack name. You must download the SSH key. We'll talk about that SSH key, download it. This download will have your SSH key and as well as your admin password. Click create. This will take you to the Oracle cloud stack page. So right now it says create instances under process, maybe 40 minutes to 60 minutes. All right, it took around one hour, 20 minutes to create both the services. So here is my cloud stack, which is uh, successfully created. If I click on my cloud stack, it takes me to the available services under that stack. So I have one DB service and one DICS service. And under stack overview, you can see the compute resources, two OCPU, 30 GB of memory, and 805 GB of storage, and two public IPs. So one for database and one for DICS. If I click on this database, it takes me to the database details. If you click on show more, you get all the details about this database. And this is the public IP. This is the SID and other resource information then click on the cloud stack and if i click on this dics service we get the details about this service you also see the associations here which is the db service and the cloud stack service okay let's click on dashboard initially when we started we don't have any services here since we created one data integration platform classic and one database classic we see both the services on the dashboard so here it shows how many instances of the service i have and if i click on this menu and services i should see a cloud stack for some reason i'm not seeing that okay so with this we have successfully created data integration platform classic in this video i'm not going to connect to data integration platform in my next video I'll show you how to connect to data integration platform classic using VNC.
And if you want to know how to create Oracle Cloud Database and connect to it using SQL Developer, I already have a video on how to create Oracle Cloud Database and connect using SQL Developer. If you are interested in that, I will leave the links below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.